Hi everyone, today I will go over part one of uh, making our portfolio. So basically we're going to be putting the portfolio together. And remember, I've mentioned in the past to get cereal boxes. So I have a couple of cereal boxes I kind of already started just to move quicker. But you're basically going to have to open everything up and make sure that you're careful when you're opening up these sides here. That you don't rip the, the cereal box because I did it for one of them. And so try to just be... Uh, careful when you're opening them up okay if you happen to have a big cereal box that will be the best because if you look at the largest paper that you have <coughs> is the collage one which is the paper that you use to uh, create the watercolor techniques and if I were to measure it for example this one if I were to cut out these ends it wouldn't fit so um, you have to be careful and um, let me see if you cut it it'll look something like this like that if you cut all the ends but if you realize that your work is not gonna fit because uh, this cereal box that I have here is large everything fits you see but then this one that I that I have it won't so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use some masking tape and you are going to leave the corners like all of this or you're only gonna cut like this little section here you're gonna leave the corners and you're just gonna tape them like that okay so you're gonna tape this side and it has to look the same as this side if your cereal box is large enough that your paper fits then you can cut out everything uh, the edges but if it's not then you're gonna have to tape it and so I already did one side And what I like about masking tape is that it's <coughs> easy to fold and to bend, and so um, you can manipulate it. So you're gonna glue it, and I mean tape it as if it's straight. And then you're going to go in and tape the inside. But if you do to the inside, you have to do to the outside. There's nothing I can do with this, so I'm just going to leave it like that unless I want to put some tape there. And then I also have to tape this corner. Remember, it doesn't matter how it looks right now because you're going to cover it with a bunch of things, paper, so you won't even be able to see all the things you made. How you put this together. fold it and now you have <clears throat> your cereal box is big enough that your paper will fit when you fold it and when you fold it make sure that I like to use this side to decorate I'll use this for the inside because all this stuff distracts me when I glu uh, put gluing stuff on collage I like to have like a clean space to work with so if I look at this, you see, now it fits. It fits here, it fits there, <coughs> and it fits on the top, okay? The only thing you're gonna cut is this, like, this little section here, which I already cut, which is basically like this, this little section right here, okay? So we have this. Um, I did show you one that, um, from the picture that I got from the internet, and that gave me the idea of going over this with you guys so what we're gonna do is with this one is all we're gonna do which is very simple we're just gonna make holes on the sides here and maybe put ribbon if you have ribbon or if you have like yarn so if you have a hole punch try not to make it here in the very edge because it will not work and this is probably really thick so you're gonna have to hole punch it twice and I would probably put the paper to see how wide it is because remember this is the biggest paper the largest paper we have 
so probably there and I try to center it in the middle <clears throat> and then I come this way try to make it fit in your and now I have one and now if you want it to be exact get your ruler And kind of draw a line right there so you know that that's the middle. Again, make my hole. I'm going to do it again so the bottom one has it too. Ooh. You have to be careful because it's so thick. Okay, <clears throat> so now once I have all my papers in there, then I can just use ribbon to close it because if you don't use something to close, your papers will fall off like this. You can do it this way and just do that and do the ribbon on both sides. Or if you want to, if you don't want to be opening up and because um, every time you open it up, you're going to have to undo the ribbon and take it all out. Instead of doing them both together like that, you can do <clears throat> one ribbon on one end. Make sure that you cut them the same. Like that. I would do a double knot here. I'm not going to do it now because <clears throat> I want to use the same ribbon for something else. And then I would use another ribbon for this side like that do two knots tie it twice and now I can go like this and tie it and so when I want to open it I just do this and the both ribbons will stay on the on the sides I can do that or I can do just all one. It doesn't matter, whichever one you want to do. If you have enough ribbon, I would probably do two. And then I would just tie them like this. Or if you just have one, then just use one and tie one paper to the other. But when you do this, remember you're gonna have to open it up and let go of the ribbon. So I suggest that you don't tie this really tight. Just kind of do this. Okay, so that's one. So if that's all you want to do, go ahead. I would maybe make sure that all my edges are good, that I have everything. Remember, if your cereal box is big, then you don't need to do these edge things, these corner things. But if it's not, then you're going to have to use every inch of it. And you're going to have to take, and that's okay if that looks like that. Don't even worry about it. You're going to have to take some tape and cover it all up so it's all straight. So it's even on this side. It's even on that side. I suggest that you start decorating from the clean side. Because that way your eye and the way you see things is easier. Because this is already a lot. And then you could just leave it like that. If you don't want to decorate the inside, you could just leave it like that. <coughs> okay, and then it'll be... Once you have this, you need to take a picture of it with the ribbon on. Uh, so I could see the front, the back, the inside. And that would be part one this is one example and it's basically the same um example that you're gonna see on the pictures that i looked for online it's just that they use some type of cardboard and it doesn't look like this but remember it's okay if it looks messy like this because you're gonna collage it so at the end it's gonna become thicker because you're gonna glue and put um, papers on it and it'll look so much better okay so that's one that's one idea Oh, and I actually found this that I bought a couple of years ago. And it's basically like a collage, but it's like a digital one. And it's the same thing. Look, you could definitely do something like this. You just need to attach, cut it, and attach more paper, more cardboard to the corners. You see? So, and then this one has this. This one's like a little bit fancier. But I just wanted to show it to you guys because it's basically like what you're going to do. You're going to collage things. Okay, so that was part one. Not part one. Example one, let me go over example two.
So for this one, if you want to do it this way, which is my favorite one, and I have a bigger one like this, you're going to need, see this is a big um, cereal box. You're going to need to cut all the edges out. If your paper fits, cut all the edges out and leave it like this. And then you're going to have fold it and make sure that the back and the front are the same. Okay. And I had, when I was cutting it, I tore it a little bit. So if you see that it's ripped or something's wrong, enforce it with tape. And then you won't even notice that you ripped it a little bit. Okay, so that's what I did on these two sides. But for this one, what I want to do is I want to do something like this. Where I want to put kind of like a folder, like an envelope so the paper doesn't fall out. And I don't want to use ribbon. So what I need to do is I need another box. So what I did was I cut another box, right, front and back. It's basically like this one, but I just cut all the trims out and I did two. And then I, I measured it. So since I'm gonna use this for the inside, remember, I measured it. <coughs> so, the, the biggest part is inside so it reinforces my my envelope my um, portfolio that I'm making and then I made sure that they were both the same the same size you see <coughs> I think it was like five inches and so uh, I never glue things or tape things right away I need to see where I want them so I always put tape like here in the corner and then I'm gonna make sure that it's in the middle between this edge and this edge and it's basically not coming out of this part so that's where I taped it and then I'm going to go in <coughs> and tape the other side because I'm making little flaps for it so when, if you're going to do this one this is another way of doing it another example then you're going to need two boxes two cereal boxes And this goes from the this goes on the outside. Remember that the if you it, if you look at it, it's not the same. This measures less than this, so I wanted to put. Actually, no, I think I did it the, the other way. Hold on. The smallest one, in. And so, I taped it. See, when you tape it, you can just if you mess up, just remove it. Make sure that it lands somewhere in the middle between this and this, and then tape it in then you the same thing on this side try to make sure that it's the same on both sides okay there so now <coughs> when I open it like this my paper will fit in here right and my papers will fit all my work and I just have the little flaps to close it but I don't want it just to look like this I want it to have these and I've been collecting them in the summer for next year and so um, sometimes the teachers will give them to me so I already have my flaps in so now what I want to do is I want to make little handles for it so I cut these out. <coughs> these are just basic <coughs> bag handles that you get when you order food or when you go out and pick a food or like a gift bag. And what I want to do is I want to put the this part down so you don't see it. And again, I'm going to eyeball where the middle is. Like this. And just put some glue and I probably would do this like that and I'm gonna flip it over do the same thing on this side but make sure that it's exactly in the same position so when you lift it it'll look the same so that's that I'm going to put my tape, I'm going to tape it down, 
first like that. <coughs> So now it looks like a little bag okay when you open it it has flaps right this is the right way and remember you're gonna cover it so none of this is gonna even be showing but you do need to reinforce it because you see how wobbly this is so what I do I love this tape I use it for everything so now I need to make sure that it's straight <clears throat> and I start and I go in and I tape all the edges everything I probably won't be able to finish it in this video because I won't have enough time, but I'll do one side. Tape all the edges. And remember, it's okay if it looks messy because you're gonna be covering it and it's the inside. It doesn't need to look nice on the inside. Okay, and I will even tape every little section, like even this. This will help me reinforce <clears throat> my handle. And it's okay if your inside is covered with tape. That's not a problem because guess what? You're gonna put paper on top of it. So whenever we do the 3D letters at school, they're filled with tape and no one sees them because after you decorate, who's gonna know, okay? So I tape everything down so it is solid and it's easier for me to work with. I'm going to do the same thing to one side as I did to the other, but the other side is easier because it doesn't have these flaps. I also go in. So I've taped everything, right? <clears throat> Now I'm going to go in and I want to tape this too. So I'm going to flip it over. Just to reinforce it. And I want to tape this. And the good thing about this type of tape is that you could fold it and bend it and it doesn't matter. And you could cut it. If you went over, cut it like this, and then fold it in. So I'm gonna do this side, and I'm going to definitely do this side. Okay. I'm gonna keep you guys a couple more minutes, but. So now, if I look at it, I'm going to, uh-oh, if that happens, that's okay. Just put more tape. <clears throat> you could even put tape the other direction. So now I'm going to fold this side. I wish my camera space was wider. I'm going to try to fold it because since I use tape, now it's harder to fold. But if you press it down like this, it'll be easier. So now all I need to do on this side is do the same thing. Make sure that it's straight. Glue this part glue the handle too I would even you see how I don't know if you guys could see the handle is open from this side I would tape that too tape everything down because otherwise it probably won't even work so I would go in let's see and tape this part down do that and then just fold it. That way I know for sure my handle is secure. It's like tough, it's, it's good. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I just can't do it now because I won't have time. But remember when you're doing this, make sure that they're even. And now 
once I decorate it, you won't even know that you used all of this to glue it, okay? <laughs> I would definitely decorate the inside of this one because it's way too messy, okay? So if you want to do this one, this one's my favorite one. I think I'm going to decorate this one because I, I don't know, I like it. I Everything fits, the flaps. I think I showed you one that I had made before, like a bigger one, okay? So that's example number two. The first one was the ribbon, remember? This is number two, and this one is example number three, which I'll do really quickly. So again, I realized that my cardboard was too small, and I had these leftover ones from the Chex Rice one, so I kind of just glued them so it became longer, and sometimes you have to do that. And again, to do this, you're gonna have to tape everything down every inch of it so it reinforces it and makes it stronger okay even the end <coughs> everything and that's just if you uh need to use two or more of the cereal boxes so you kind of have to figure out how can i use the cereal boxes and how are they gonna how is my paper gonna fit Maybe you need to cut them in half or you need to add like a little bit like I did here in the corners, okay? And then I'll put some in the middle here because I don't want it to be open. And remember this tape is great because once you tape it, <coughs> you don't see anything. I already made the holes yesterday and I reinforced them. So I need to also do the inside. Whatever I do to the inside, I have to do to the outside, right? To make it stronger reinforce it and for this one you don't necessarily need to add the ribbon this is another example that I found online a picture so I wanted to see I wanted you to see how to make it but remember because my paper wasn't big enough that's what now it's big enough okay now who's gonna know that i added little sections of another cereal box that's a good thing with this so if you need to go in and make little adjustments you're gonna have to do that you're gonna have to figure out how to make it longer so your paper will fit <clears throat> okay so now what i want to do is i just want to make a very basic folder that doesn't necessarily open up that i could just stick my papers inside so what i want to do is I just want to tape this part. Like that. I'm going to flip it. I want to tape the whole thing. <coughs> And if you see this, just cut it out. Because it looks ugly and messy. I would probably add more. But I think I'm running out of tape. I would reinforce it maybe even this way. On some of them. Because it might open. And this is like an envelope. You don't necessarily have to put the ribbon... I love ribbon, so anytime I have a chance to use it, I'll use it. I'm going to do the same thing, but remember, I'm going to leave this open on the other side. <clears throat> Try to do half on one side, half on another. If you need to use more, then you just use more. Flip it. I'm probably going to have to use more. Yeah, this is really thin. Cut it. Again, reinforce it like the other side. I like things to be strong and that they don't fall apart. I hate when I make something and it falls apart. Thank you. 
came. So now, if you look at it, it's closed, but you can still fit your paper in here. You see? This is another example. Then, if you want to use the ribbon and be a little fancy, <clears throat> you're going to need two pieces, and you're going to make sure you cut them a little bit long. I would do two, three knots on each one. And then I'm going to do it on this side. And I think there's an example that I posted online, a, pic a picture. I think the paper is white and the ribbon is red. It's this. It's just a folder. And then I do the same thing to the other side. I'm almost finished, guys. Make sure that you make it tight. You can use as many ribbons as you like, whatever colors you like. You can always cut this too, or just put it inside so it doesn't show. Maybe tape it. I would probably tape it, because I wouldn't like that. I like I would just put tape inside of it, because no one's going to see the inside. Put tape inside of it so it doesn't come off. My holes are really big because I realized I had a different hole punch. That's why they look like that. Okay, so now if I lift it, obviously I didn't do this right because it's supposed to be exactly the same. <laughs> so when you do this, make sure that when you're pulling them, they measure the same. I'm going to have to go in and change it right now. But if you were to lift it, and it doesn't have to be this long, you can make it shorter. When you lift it, you'll see that your, fold, that your envelope, you can put your work inside. All your all your work will fit making sure that the box fits that the size fits and that's one example okay so that's example number three so remember again you can do it like this super easy fold it glue it to the to the outsides make sure that you really reinforce it you don't need to put the ribbon if you don't want to I definitely would probably make the ribbon smaller like maybe like this smaller and don't make the mistake of not pulling it before you uh, um, finish one side and then so that's example number three remember then where example number two was this one was which is basically like the third one but all you need to do is put the ribbon in the edges remember like this and then so that's the second one and then the first one is this one which is my favorite one where it has flaps that you can close put your work in and it has this fan so if you have these use them but remember don't leave it like this you're gonna have to reinforce everything so it's strong so this is my favorite one i will probably decorate this one i really like this one because it looks like a little it looks like a little portfolio so again you have three examples here the one with the flaps and the uh, bag and then you have the one with the ribbon in the corners here in the edges that I did not put. But I'll put it so you guys could see it. This one is easier. Right? And then like this and this one you just go like that on both sides. Right? And then you also have the other one. The one where you tape up and it becomes just like a basic envelope. You can do whatever you want. You don't necessarily need to do these if you find another way. Like I said, as long as your paper fits and it's reinforced and it's secure and it closes, then I'm good. One example, right, with the flaps. No, I mean, this is the example with the flaps. This is the example where you basically just tape the edges and things will fit inside. And then this is the one where you open it and your work fits inside. So now you have three examples. I've also posted on Schoology um, more pictures for you to look at if you want to make them more like an envelope, just kind of like the one I bought, like this, which is basically like what I did with the flaps. I just didn't put a flap on this side. But you can do it fancy. You can do it simple as long as you do one. When you finish, <coughs> you're going to take a picture of this. So if this is the one I'm going to submit, I need you to open it up like this 
and then I guess get on top of your bed or something and take a picture of the whole thing I want to see how it looks and then take a picture of it with the flaps closed the inside and then I want to see how it looks like that so in my life I can envision exactly how you did it and that's going to be part one of your final assignment and then on Thursday I'll go over how to decorate it but you need to have the actual con you have you have to have constructed the actual portfolio before you can move on okay so let me stop this video guys hold on